the uh, that there's adverts for local companies, yeah, so and charities. Um, so, like for example, War Child have got adverts in Football Manager to support to support them to raise money for the charity, which is really good. But then you've got like local brands. So um, there was a clothing brand, which I can't remember which one exactly did it, but they had adverts that were targeted for uh, the, the male the male audience that play football managers. So there was about 25% off if you put football manager in as a discount code for this clothing brand, for example. So it works. It works. And, and that's good for someone who games four and a half hours a day. So, <laughs> yeah, he's laughing. Um, so actually it is because you see that logo, You uh, if you have a brand connection with someone and you see a feature in the game that you love and like, you're going to buy more likely from them. You kind of be part of the experience. You look at playing football in real life and you're watching TV and you see the digital screen billboards. They are also available in the actual FIFA games as well. And, you know, EA just promoting themselves and other products and selling essentially, you know, in-game materials. That last thing I want to update you on is the cookie-less future, which is very, very unclear. So not many people know this, and but you should, is cookies are about to end soon. And the advice is, and my advice is, don't wait for Google. Um, I, I have a love-hate relationship with Google, as many people know on this podcast. Um, in the mantra circling in the internet right now, what I've been reading is that advertisers and the world are hoping that their tech giant, that is Google, is going to offer a solution. Actually, the stats show that 70% of agencies and brand execs are worried about quickly future and don't know what's next. And to be honest with you, I don't know what's next. I don't really have an answer for you. Um, data shows that 40% of consumers regularly clear their browsing history. I wonder why that is. Um, I'd be interested to see what the breakdown of between gender in terms of male or female that would be in terms of why they're clearing their browser history. Um, so he's just catching on now, Callum. 25% regularly use private browsing. 20% regularly decline cookies. Meanwhile, 20% regularly use a VPN. Um, and 30% worry about how companies will use their personal data online. A lot of percentages, a lot of Amazon. But what does it mean for you as a brand, as a company? Um, and those that aren't rating for good is already coming up and new. There's new ways to kind of, and innovative ways to bypass the cookie. For example, buying targeted ads has often relied heavily on third-party cookies. And now the future relies on one thing, getting more data. And the only way to do that is by integrating the with third-party syndicated data. But we're going to have to go into a lot more detail into that. So I think we already have our next two episodes where we're going to be talking about audio ads and a cookie-less future. I'm going to go into them into a lot more depth um, and provide a little bit more insight around what's going on there. But that kind of brings us to the end of the Mr. Bubble News Roundup. A lot of information there, some good, a good question between personal and business branding. A lot happening in the world, which kind of falls onto some of the things we talked about in a previous episode. Um, I hope you found that useful, uh, engaging, and uh, please send your thoughts and comments back to me. Um, I am using the hashtag um, AskBubble or hashtag Mr. Bubble. Um, so if you're on social media and use a hashtag, we're monitoring it. We're monitoring questions and monitoring elements on that. So if you've listened to this and you disagree with something, you don't like it, or you feel like I've gone on a wrong element or on any other podcast, do reach out at us at Bobble Digital on social media. Use the hashtag, hashtag Mr. Bobble and all the hashtag Ask Bobble and we'll get and you will feature you on the, you know, monthly news roundups that we do. Um, other than that, Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe across our podcast streaming platforms, follow us on YouTube. And the more followers we'll get, the more competitions I can start introducing to listeners and followers and people like on the content to try and get you really more engaged and really more involved and get your opinion pieces. So I hope that's been a good news roundup. I hope that's been really educational. Got some good ideas of what to come up in the next couple of episodes. And I look forward to sharing that information with you all. Thank you.